Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Teresa Lisa and today I'm throwing with a new clay body. This is a brown clay called Locomoca from Trinity Ceramics in Dallas. I'll post the link below to where you can find this clay. If you're not close to Dallas, this clay might be a little trickier to come by as it is made by my local ceramics store. This clay is what I would call lightly coarse. It isn't painful to throw, but it isn't smooth like butter either. It has some grit and tooth to it, which I honestly appreciate. It can get a little sticky after a long session throwing. I found it was helpful for me to change out my throwing water when it started turning more into a thick slip than a container of water. It's not hard to throw with this clay, at least I didn't find it to be any kind of particular challenge, but it also isn't my favorite to clay to throw with personally. I can't pin it down, but there's something about the feel of throwing it that just isn't the most comfortable that I've ever experienced. This Mocha Loca clay fires to a dark brown. I really love dark clays, but I find they pose a unique challenge when you're glazing. For this series of work, I'm planning to apply a white stoneware slip as a base primer coat to where I am going to apply the glazes. I'm hoping this is going to give me some better color results on this clay body. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe because it will be a video. I'm going to be recording all of the various steps and results for this series. In the next week's video, I'm going to take a shot at pulling and attaching some handles to these. I don't have a ton of experience with handles, but I want to make more mugs. I feel like mugs are something that I'm going to make. Plants for pots and pots for coffee, that's the plan. There's an endless amount of things you can make in ceramics and I think for myself it's going to be best to keep in line with my own personal interests. I have had a few requests and I just wanted to let everybody know that I do not do special requests or custom orders when it comes to my ceramic work. I have too much stuff going on and too many commitments and I kind of just don't want to. So. I have been trying to work out more frequent shop updates on my website, bluenosetrading.com. You can always check on the website to see what I currently have available and when I plan to do an update with some new stuff. Speaking of updates, by the time you see this video, most of these pots are probably going to be gone. I've been making so much fantastic content for you guys that my channel is scheduled out for several months. If you'd like a glimpse into what's most current, you can always check out my Instagram stories at Blue Nose Trading, and if you want early access to all of my scheduled videos, I highly suggest that you become a patron of my work at patreon.com slash blue nose trading. As soon as I get the video edited and scheduled on YouTube, they are immediately put up on Patreon. Usually these are several months in advance, sometimes several weeks, it just kind of depends, but it's always going to be early access for patrons. Patrons help to support my channel and my creative work, and I like to give them things. If you're a patron and you see something like a pot that you want in an early access video, send me a message on Patreon and if I still have it, I will pull it for you because y'all are special like that. If any of y'all out there watching want me to do a series with any specific or different kind of clay, just let me know. I love experimenting with different clays. I don't mind ordering like 50 pounds of whatever and seeing how it works out for me. I think I'm going to do some work with Laguna Speckled Buff once I finish out this Trinity Locomoca. I've worked with the Laguna Speckled Buff before, but it's been a long time and I never made a video specifically for that clay. The speckled buff was actually the first clay I ever bought and threw with, so at the time I didn't have anything to compare it to. I remember feeling like it was much more coarse than anything else that I've thrown since then, but I digress. I get ahead of myself. I still need to pull and attach the handles for these, carve them, apply a slip, bisque them, glaze them, and fire them, which in YouTube time is like a month's worth of work. I'm really optimistic about how this series of work is going to turn out. I had success throwing with it and I had some really great forms that I got out of the clay here. I personally love dark clay bodies. I think they're really dynamic and I really respect how they can stand on their own. I'm a little bit obsessed with dark clay bodies and a lot of raw work. So as long as the slip plays nice with the clay, the glazing should also turn out well. Of course I'm going to use a lot of turquoise because that's my thing. It's my favorite color and it's the color that you're going to see a lot from my work because it's a whole vibe. Turquoise, teal, blue, green, all the colors in between. I throw in a few ins and outs here and there but mostly it's going to be a turquoise vibe for me. Of course I don't expect everything I threw today to make it 
between myself, the universe, we are bound to mess up more than a couple of pieces. I prefer to call it as early as possible. The worst is when you lose a piece in the glaze fire because you already have so much time, effort, and material put into it. At least if I lose or flop a pot while I'm throwing today, I can be easily, if not immediately, reclaimed. I think this is pretty obvious, but I am by no means an expert. I make mistakes openly and often. This channel is a journey of learning. I have a deep respect for the experts. They took a long time and a lot of practice to get there. I find a relatable value in showing the time, trial, error, and mistakes that are a natural part of learning any skill. It's great to be great, but it's also really important to appreciate and enjoy every part of your journey. Even the parts that a good deal of people prefer to skip out when they're creating a curated feed or video for you. I hope that in honestly sharing my entire experience, I can inspire at least a couple of people to keep going past their failures and not give up in trying to learn any skill, whether you're trying to learn pottery, cooking, or basket weaving, this applies to everybody. If you're a subscriber, you may have seen some of my shorts videos. I've been making an effort to share a short video taken outside of every pot that I've made, or at least every novel pot that I've made. To be completely honest, if I made five and they look exactly the same, I'm probably only going to make one short video, and I'm pretty sure most people appreciate the lack of repetitive spam. But the point is, I share some ugly with a capital U pots on there, and ugly pots happen, and they're a part of the process, and I know, I know, we could be have that conversation, that beauty is in the eye of beholder all day long, so to clarify, pots that turn out in ways other than you intended or planned happen, sometimes for the better, sometimes for worse. And honestly, if it's not unsafe or non-functional, I say to sell them and let your beholder decide. And if they just will not move, then, you know, put a discount on them and get them to move. But there's no point in getting rid of a pot that's personally functional just because you think it's ugly. That's up for hot debate. If you want to get rid of a personal pot just because you think it's ugly, I don't really care, dude. If you want to go outside and smash a bunch of pots with hammers, you go right ahead. That is all on you. But my personal opinion is that I'm going to try to sell it because somebody might find value and appreciation in something, even if I find it ugly. Anyways, back to the task at hand. If you want to see how this series of work turns out, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. I'll be pulling handles next week, and soon after that, I'm going to experiment with lighter clay slip to improve the glazed results. Again, if you want to see everything super early, stay on top of it and get first dibs on all my artwork, you can find me at patreon.com slash bluenose trading. And if you just want to see what I have right now and what you can get immediately or when I'm going to drop new work, you can find that information at bluenosetrading.com. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys, and I will see you next week.